just an update with um, for Robert Douche and whoever's looking. Um, yeah, there's Africa. There's the weird anomalies that we're getting around the base of Africa, and it's certainly being pulled in that circle. I'm going to go on the wind satellite and slice through the layers of the atmosphere and show you exactly at what height that's happening at. But it's not just here. When we look across, look at Argentina. There's one here being pulled out. There. Um, also, all around the globe, we've got these being pulled down. Sometimes it's natural, but not to have so many. I mean, look at some of these here. These, this is in the Atlantic to the uh, west of Argentina. You can see the movements that's happening. So it's like we've got a reversal in the flow of the jet stream. And yet below the jet stream, it's heading east. So we've got this flow from the west. But just have a look at these. Now, keeping this simple, 70, it's HPA, which is pressure. So the higher you go, the lower the pressure, the lower you go, the higher the pressure. So this is low down at sea level, this is high up in the stratosphere, 10 is even higher still. If you look at this, we've got a, a difference in flow um, right up in the top of the stratosphere. This is running totally different than it would normally anyway. So if you want to know the scales, if you look at this here, um, let me go back to um, the other one. Just let's have a look. This, by the way, um, is one of the reasons we're having catastrophic atmospheric changes, both in the Earth's magnetic uh, properties. I mean, really massive changes in Earth's magnetic field, stripping it right back. Got a video up on that. But at the moment, we're running at 13 trillion, just under 13 trillion volts. Um, that's on CERN. By the way, they're injecting lead at the moment, which is very, very serious. Lead being a very heavy metal. And we're looking at a type of quantum mechanics on CERN cloud, which I won't go into now. Done a video on it, which really seriously affects the atmosphere also. So, let's just look at the wind. Now that is at 1000 HPA pressure, which I think is just off the screen there. And that's what it looks like, which is high pressure, which is at ground level. This one is coming lower down, which is here. So now you can see, just below the stratosphere, where the wind has been affected. So that's the direction there. We go lower still. 700. Now 700 is at 700 HPA is 3,500 meters. 3,500 meters, which is about 13,000 feet. Oh, there we go. Then we will look at 850 HPA, which is 1,500 meters, which is about four and a half thousand feet, which is here. That's 500. Now you can see that air movement more over the land as well, which is what Robert was wanting to look at. There's something creating a big change here such a, a big change in the wind flow here. The red there represents it fast. Now look at 250 which is coming at 10,500 meters which is the jet stream. Is that you can see a mess taking place there? This is massive changes taking place in the wind speed and direction. And finally, we look lower down at 70 
and then 10 70 and 10 17 and a half thousand, 26 and a half thousand stratosphere but we'll look at 100 meters at ground level too yeah so 250 HPA pressure is 10,500 meters that's the jet stream which is this so yeah there's a lot of complex stuff going on there and um, there's been some major changes on the jet stream and this is southern hemisphere so you can see some weird activity taking place and I believe it is soon this is live now soon is almost at full power this black line here is the energy power line this is the strength in bolts beam one beam two and it's ramping up right now at uh, 745 UTC time European time up she goes there it is it's now 7 o'clock GMT time and these are the two beams at full full power luminosity energy is going up and the beams are tight which means it's running at full power the way that they uh, they want to fire it up to get full luminosity this is the southern tip of Africa where we've just Robert Dush has just been pointing out and you can you can see close in those weird uh, EMF magnetic forces call it what you want um, some weird shapes taking place there and we know that these sort of things are created like the pictures they put on the CERN website would have clouds like this most unusual um, that was in the last 24 hours um, but I thought this was quite unusual as well the place on land that we can't see we see more types of weird um, energy lines um, which affects the uh, the cloud formations these are those funny spiral fingers that we see lifting in the upper atmosphere but if we go to today um, it hasn't fully updated um, 27th so only half of the picture is there but we can see these weird cloud formations still taking place um, so yes some strange things taking place I can update this when the next picture comes into being but that was in the last 24 hours in this position.